Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly for pricing, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model launched in 2020, possibly the sportiest redesign of the Griffin Claw Constellation since the early 2000s Double Eagle. This is the Omega Constellation 41. The Connie 41 is a combination of of a ceramic black bezel with a stainless steel case, 41 millimeters in diameter with a tonneau case profile, 13.7 millimeters thick, and from lug to lug, 48.5 millimeters. This is probably the strongest play by Omega to win Western fans of the Griffin Claw Connie since that Double Eagle sports watch. The timepiece is robust, it is rugged, it is handsome, and it is full-sized without being oversized, narrow across the wrist but broad of beam. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it has a lot of presence. Now it's nowhere near the edge of my wrist because it is so short across the, the lug to lug profile, less than 49 millimeters. I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. It's not as thick as a lot of Omegas, and with a generously sloped case flank, thanks to those griffin claws and the conical bezel, it will in fact wear well underneath a tight dress sleeve or cuff. Omega, again, emphasizing sportiness, takes a page from the Book of Hublot, and we have a strap that's large rectangular scale alligator leather black on the top with a monotone stitch, and then on the bottom, you can see that it is a rubber strap. So you have gator on the top, rubber on the bottom, that will play well with regards to longevity, protecting the leather from the heat, sweat, oil, moisture, and grit of the wrist. Now we have a deployment clasp here, single fold, actuated by two triggers. You can see a combination of satin finish and polish, both inside and out. And then the strap itself tucks into the buckle, tucks under the buckle, and once you've sized it down, there's no visible extra length visible and there are no strap minders necessary. So you don't need to worry about those little loops that often mar the appearance of a conventional strap. This is a very clean and secure system. The timepiece featuring a tonneau case rather than a round case, and you can see it's a combination of satin finish, curves and creases. You can see there's also some flat fastening at the end of the case at 6 and 12. And then we have bevels that run all the way around and they are polished. The Griffin Claw or Griff first introduced on the 1982 so-called Manhattan Constellation. They're here, they're subtle, and they're big and sporty. So rather than appearing dainty, elegant, thin, or fine, they're broad and robust. The bezel features Roman numerals in what Omega calls liquid metal. It's an amorphous metal structure structure that binds permanently to the ceramic so the two can never separate and the ceramic highly scratch resistant. The dial is a matte black with all applique and handsomely polished and satinated faceted dart style indices. The contrast between the polishing and the satination is quite intriguing and attractive up close and then they are applique rather than printed for an upscale look. Omega went with alpha style hands pinched at center rather than the heavier dauphine style often seen on dress watches. Applique Omega, Omega logo and of course the star, reminding you that the original constellation was an observatory chronometer. This one is a master chronometer or METAS certified. We have a silver on black date disc and then we have two subsidiary setting functions. One is hacking or stop seconds and then the other is a system that allows you to step the hour hand independently of the minute hand and the second hand. So the watch keeps keeping time. You can step the date forward or backwards depending on whether you're traveling east or west. This is very handy for those who travel a lot and change time zones. Push down crown with a combination of media blasting and polish on its outer face. The watch is 50 meters water resistant. Inside the case, master chronometer caliber 8900, two barrels, bi-directional automatic winding, 60 hour power reserve, 39 joules, beats away at the silicon hairspring specific 25 5,200 vibration per hour beat rate that you'll see on silicon hairspring watches across the swatch group. It is basically amagnetic, able to withstand over 15,000 gauss. You can see that the Balance bridge is anchored on both sides, so it's a bridge rather than a balance cock, and it features a free-sprung balance for precise adjustment and resistance to shock-induced timing deviation. The master chronometer standard goes beyond the COSC. COSC is a test of just the movement and then just in five positions. Master chronometer, or METAS, developed with the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, that's a standard that's tested in six positions as a fully cased-up watch, and not only do they test the same ISO 3159 chronometer standards, that is timing precision, of the COSC, but they test water resistance, shock resistance, anti-magnetism, winding efficiency, and power reserve. It is a very comprehensive test. This watch also uses the latest tri-level coaxial, which is a direct and indirect tangential contact, um, basically 
double impulse style escapement system. It's both indirect and direct, but both are tangential contact, which extends the power reserve, reduces service needs, and improves long-term timing precision. George Daniels invented that in 1974, and today it can truly be said Omega has realized the full potential of this coaxial system. We have arabesque Cote de Genève across the bridges as well as the rotor, and both polished and blackened screws. All told, it is a machine-finished but very handsome movement. Silicon hairspring, and again, it almost a magnetic watch. Reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Connie 41 in the dark.